Hey everybody, welcome back to The Odds Couple. I'm Sid Rosenberg, sitting alongside expert handicapper, my dear friend Mark Lawrence, publisher, of course, of the spectacular playbook.com. Mark, how are you? Sid, great to be back, and let's pick some winners. Yeah, let's say. do that. I know uh, you're, you're doing uh, this show today with a heavy heart. I know you lost uh, your mother-in-law last week, and um, I do want to dedicate today's program to Colleen's mom. And, Thank you very uh, much. We really appreciate that. And you're welcome. I'm looking forward to the show. Me too. Good Thank to you, see you. Welcome Likewise. back, Mark. As our, our loyal viewers know, we also do a college football show each and every week. We decided to make the bowl season a little more interesting, if, if you know what I mean. Yes. So uh, kudos to you, Mark, heading into tonight's championship game between Texas and Alabama. You've already claimed a victory by correctly picking seven of your eight bowl games. Now, I went six of nine, which is pretty good, but seven of eight is ridiculously good, so we know what that means. For the second year in a row. It means I'm going to the Big Apple for the second year in a row, Sid. And I'm going to look forward to it. New Yankee Stadium, steak at Sparks. How can you beat that? It's going to be unbelievable. You really can't beat that. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank that's, you that's so much. That's quite a job, seven out of eight. And that's why you're the best in the business. Nobody's, nobody's going to debate that. No one's going to bet against that. I promise you that. <laughs> now, back to the National Football League. Mark, wild card weekend. Here we go. Four games on the docket. Three are rematches from last week. But not all of those teams came out to play last Sunday. I mean, especially... Arizona, they sat their two best defensive players in Dockett and Adrian Wilson. Although I think Cincinnati did come to play. They just got beat up pretty good by the Jets. What about the fact you've got three rematches coming up? Well, interestingly, said three rematches on one weekend of National Football League playoffs. I went to my database. I looked back to 1988. We've had a total of 10 rematches. So we've got three of them this weekend alone. And what did I find? I found that the team that lost the last game of the regular season comes back to win six out of the 10 times. Mm -hmm. So that should favor, in rematch positions here, three particular teams. Am I going to be on any of these three? We're going to find out later in the show here. But it makes for intrigue this particular weekend. And you mentioned about Arizona, the Cardinals here. They laid down that football game. Everybody knows that, okay? Interestingly, they're laying the same amount of points this week with the team that's going to come to play mm. with an A team, okay? Last week they played the B team. This week the A team. So we'll see how it all sorts out. We'll share that in a second. Yeah, they bet them down, actually. The Cardinals started the week as a three-point favorite. It was one earlier today, which says to me that people out there are buying into the 26-point Green Bay victory, and I would tell people, like Lee Corso would say, not so fast. Not so fast, my friends here. There's two ways I look at this, I'll say. There's, you can look at this thing statistically, or you can look at it situationally. Okay, Statistically, Green Bay has all the better numbers, better offense, better defense. They're a team that's really on the come right now. You look at this football team, only one loss the last nine football games and only ones are the spread as well. So they're a team that nobody really wants to play right now on that side of the ball. But, as you mentioned, last week Arizona laid down. Green Bay took advantage. We'll see what happens this a week. Chance earlier today to speak to Bart Starr on my radio program. Oh, nice. Bart was, uh, Bart was going, uh, going off about Aaron Rodgers. Obviously, Brett Favre and Bart Starr are the two biggest names in the history of quarterback for Green Bay. But Bart Starr, very impressed, and deservedly so, in Aaron Rodgers, who has now thrown for over 4,000 yards in both seasons since taking over as a full-time starter for Brett Favre in Green Bay. MVP type season for yes. Aaron Rodgers this year. You can, you can argue him. he has to be in the hunt, in the race here. One last question before we go to our picks here, Sid. I got to ask you, what does the National Football League need to do in these lay down games the last week of the season here? Can Goodell do anything about this? He's talked about that last week and said he wants to do something about it. But you know what? If I own a National Football League team and I'm spending close to a billion dollars, you're not going to tell me what to do. If That's I want to exactly win a championship, you're not going to tell me to play my quarterback. That's exactly right. Unfortunately, the fans have to pay the price, and we as Players or gamblers that we suffer for it as well. Yeah, no doubt about it. There were a couple of games that could have gone uh, the other way last week and uh, came back to bite you when people start, you know, started, stopped playing their starters. That cold check game a couple of weeks ago, that was uh, the perfect example of that. Right? Exactly. All right, when we get back, we're going to make our picks. Mark and I will offer our best bet for the upcoming playoff weekend right here on The Odds Couple. 